Hello folks, it's the Siggy. Welcome to my latest video. Um, what I'm looking at today is update 18. This is the first time I've loaded this, so I'm viewing it for the first time as well. Although I do have a list of um, the changes made on this. Well, let's see if we can load up. That's maybe the start. Here we go. Downloading 26. Forgive my voice at the moment, I'm just getting over a chest infection and I still feel rotten. Okay, we're at 41%. Speaking to Ludovic, um, the vast majority of the update has been uh, visual. However, underneath the bonnet, under the hood, there has been some changes as well on the technical side of things and we'll go into them or through them as we progress the major thing is uh, they've said they've reworked the lighting so there's better contrast and better immersion um, the visual effects like smoke water and power-ups have been upscaled all the units have undergone surgery and they now look more realistic there's an architectural upgrade on the buildings and the land air and underwater terrain have also been enhanced so let's have a quick look here let's try the new swipe mechanic tap on the oil icon to activate it touch the edge of your screen to move through your base Oh, I see. Ah. It is very bright. Oh. I don't really know what that was, but never mind. Um. We've still got our zooming out. I know a number of people have said, I don't know what that part there is flashing for. Let's have a quick look on settings. No. Um, that is very green grass. Green, green grass of home. Let's just have a quick fly around here. Um, I really don't know why that is flashing. I don't know. I'm sure it will come to me, or somebody will point it out. Let's collect some of these. Collect some of these. Um, I was actually going to do my oil collection. Swipe on there. Oops. I'm not a big fan of swiping with the mouse. Um, maybe because it's too accurate, but instead I, you know, I bought the the tax collector, so that's what I'll use. Oh, not these military cottages, all oh, nice. Hmm. Okay, that's the above ground stuff. Uh, one of the things that has changed is um, your HQ no longer gets um, destroyed. I can't get onto that. I don't know why. Right, I don't know why that's flashing. I also don't know why I can't get onto my Headquarters. Ah, I can now. Okay, let's have a quick look underwater. Oh, that's very dark. Um, it does look a little more realistic, actually. I suppose. 
Um, we haven't got any more areas to unlock. But hey ho. Oh, that's my thorium collected. Um, on the technical side of things, um, oh, that flashing doesn't happen um, below ground. Oh, it's now gone off. No doubt I'll uh, find out at some stage. The technical aspects. Um, if you're playing this game on an iPhone uh, 3GS or an iPod uh, 4, it's no longer supported. Um, and if you've got a low-end device, you know, whether it's iOS, Android, Windows, the new effects have been lowered so that, you know, you've, you've got a little bit more playability. There's also a right mouse click option. If you've got a Windows PC, you can hold on to a building, enter the edit mode from right clicking, it says. But. No, I can't. Uh, so we've got the Bastille. Uh, ah, press and hold. No. Oh, yes it does. All oh, right, okay. Press down for a couple of seconds. The right click, let it go, and it appears. Yeah, I suppose that's handy when you're placing buildings or moving them about. But it stays on to edit mode until you exit out. Um, there are a number of... Um, Android devices that are no longer supported. That's progress, really. Uh, basically, it's the ARM v6 devices. Um, if you head over to um, the Gameloft forums, I'll put the link at the bottom of this. Um, if you head over to those forums, you should be able to see um, the devices that aren't supported anymore. Um, okay, server side moves and bug fixes. Spec Ops has now got an improved reward system and security fixes. Uh, let's have a, a quick look now what we get on our Spec Ops. Let's scan for this. We start off on five gold stars immediately. Um, this underwater does look a little bit different. I'll just also deploy because I'm idle. <laughs> so you get some splashes on your screen, it looks like. Oh, crikey. Um, let's click on start. Go oh, heck. I don't know whether my eyes are going to cope with this contrast now. Well, if nothing else, it was an improvement getting five stars on the first one. I don't know what uh, we'll also get. That remains to be seen. Let me just see what the next one gives. Uh, nothing at all, Siggy. Nothing at all. Oh, it doesn't want to play. Let's see if I can exit out, exit out of that and try it again. No, it's still doing it. Right, so that's stopped working. That's not a good sign. Game loft. Um, we've got a, a boost on our events, I'll have a look at that in a second. There's been numerous global conquest uh, exploits that have, that have been closed 
which is only a, it can only be a good thing. There's a lot of hackers in any game, and it, it sticks in the back of my throat when I pay good money or you guys pay good money, and there's somebody else who's able to take advantage and perhaps not spend the same sort of money. Um, boss units level two fused with power ups are now on endangered species. Species. Um, yeah, it was always the case where a level one boss unit uh, could have a power up fuse to it, um, and unfortunately, some people had the level two units boosted as well. Don't know how, but that sure uh, that sure uh, is a good thing. Um, no more endless protection. Alright, saving hackers from your wrath. So if we go onto the world map. This guy's got protection. Mm, it's nice that there's a lot less protection on. That is good. Um... One of the other uh, moves has been check for battles happening during the truce phase in Global Conquest. We'll have to have a look at that at some stage. Um, and the solo event reward system has been improved and the base structure glitch removed. I don't know what that was. Um, but it has actually said, if you go onto the World at Arms uh, Facebook page um, what did I just read some people reported that faction battles seem harder more balanced than before this is down to two bug fixes your allies and defense or attack and defense boost is now correctly added and the defender booster in the research center is correctly added um, if you go onto the world map and check your army strength um, you'll see what your allies give this is now um, fully added to your stats how that works I don't know okay so there we go first look at update 18 thanks for watching the siggy